on this day he fell in the aquarium of doom where he will face justice for all the crimes he did roaming around searching for what could be a good place to rest peacefully he just needs to get a chance to heal the wounds he acquired through his previous battle it already costed him half a leg he found the best spot it seems then he started to secrete its unique scent to call for help in putting signal for its location though it only attracted one of the armored knights of the Coliseum it seems that an encounter with this armored knight shall end this brown cactus life he started to look at the armored knight while he's approaching checking and analyzing his slim body and those two slim pincers yes they are slim but they are well established for maneuver completed with a tail that delivers strikes in less than a blink of an eye his name is Buthakas Arnikula he is famous for its bad temper also he is very swift the brown cactus is looking at him saying to himself he is small, but he has a lot of weaponry. And the Buthakas knight started to move toward the brown cactus. The cockroach started to feel worried, then something strange happened. The Buthakas knight was trying to get underneath of him. The cockroach out of shock ran away. While running, the cockroach didn't notice that he is going to cross paths the Puthakas knight again. But when the encounter happened, the unexpected happened also. The Puthakas knight ran away from the brown cactus. Fortunately this time, that knight was small to overcome the brown cactus. To the degree that the brown cactus was chasing it around. Size gives it confidence after all. The sound of the battle dragged the attention of another famous knight. He has a very calm personality, but he is so confident. He knows that he is stronger than its threat. He also has a deadly stinger. He is known as Buthas Occitanus. The cockroach looks at it while thinking. He can be something but still he looks small. The brown cactus feels somehow confident over the armored knights and that made him take an unexpected decision when he found himself facing the Exotanus knight. He decided to attack him. No one can understand what made him do it. Is it courage? Is it foolishness? But shockingly and shamefully the Oxitanus knight started to run from him. The brown cactus is feeling powerful over those armored knights and that made him feel happy which drove him to start chasing them around out of this area to clear it for himself and declare it an area of dominance. It only took him a short while to start feeling that he is king especially after he solely faced two of the armored knights and vanquished them but that didn't last long at a day the brown cactus started hearing heavy footsteps crushing the ground from around him he thinks what can it be reverting to his nature and code of living if it's scared then run toward it, but if it's not, then run from it. He decided to check it out. It was another armored knight. But, unlike the other knights, this armored knight looks very strong and he has a catapult like tail and he's bigger than the brown cactus. Usually, the brown cactus would leave the area fearing for his safety. But the feelings he had of having a kingdom and to be feared by strong warriors persuaded him to fight for his declared territory. 
like any experienced fighter, he is starting to analyze the situation to find the weakness in that enemy. Moving toward him slowly, that armored knight is acting almost as if he doesn't see him. Is he sleeping or something? The brown cactus asking himself. Then he started to run around him and get near him. Then he decided to run toward him. Nothing. Standing on top of him, still nothing. Seems peaceful. The knight started to move, and the cactus got shocked and ran away. The brown cactus started to feel that this knight is beyond his capabilities. And he was right. This is not an ordinary knight, like any other knight. He has a name, but not only a name, he also carries a title that no one ever had. He is the famous Andractunus Astralis, and his title is the Southern Man Killer. The brown cactus admitting defeat since he doesn't have any weaponry or armory that can give him any chance against that knight. Mostly he uses the enemy fear against it. But since this knight is fearless, it only means that the brown cactus has no chance here. Trying to leave his previous kingdom, only to face that it's surrounded by transparent slides preventing him from leaving. Even with his incredible ability to climb most of the surfaces, he failed this time. Being entrapped by the situation, the brown cactus is trying to figure a solution. He can't escape. What can he do? He thought that the astralist knight is not attacking him. Maybe they can share the area peacefully? Then he started to check if it's a possibility. That knight is too peaceful. Starting to feel comforted around him only to see in a real short time that another astralist knight came to the area. But it seems to be the same. Then another. Then another. Then another. It's like the sky is raining with them. What's going on? He's asking himself. More and more are coming. He's starting to test the situation is still safe. Moving to them and around them and even on top of them. Okay, I think I am safe. But more and more are coming. All of a sudden the brown cactus finds himself between an army of those astralist knights. He started to feel that the situation is getting complex and complicated. And then they started to fight each other. The brown cactus is feeling endangered. They were nice and extremely tolerant, but they are attacking each other so hard. He is starting to run around, fearing that he will be caught in this heavy crossfire. Then, things are getting a little bit calm. He is starting to move normally again. But then, he is getting near to that calm armored knight only to face an attempt from that knight to crush his body with those crushers he has in his arms. But better than any kung fu master, the brown cactus is evading this attempt with an unbelievably extraordinarily fast move. Then that knight tried again, but the cactus has an incredible ability to evade and run. He can outrun almost anything. 12 miles an hour. Who can do that? But it's getting darker than ever. They are starting to notice him. And some of them are trying to get him. He's running here. And running there. Surrounded by knights that want to get him like never before. Finding that he can't do anything. The only thing he can do is keep running. Standing to catch a breath. Thinking which direction to run, then he didn't measure it right. He thought he can do it like every time he made it before. But that knight was more than ready for him. 
He saw all of the cactus tracks, his speed and way of thinking and everything. He anticipated the cactus running direction and then the night caught him better than any famous baseball catcher. The brown cactus is trying to escape, but what can he do? Gates are blocked, pincers are locked, there is no escape. It's a grip lock by death. Another knight saw what happened after his previous failure to catch the brown cactus. It didn't matter to him if it's an earned reward, he just wanted to take the prize for himself. Starting to fight that champion astralist knight to take the cactus from him. They are fighting over its body. That champion astralis seems to be smaller in size and even younger, but it has experienced more than anyone could ever imagine. He starts to lift his pincers of the cactus, which make you think that he's given up, only to be surprised by how tricky his mind works. He analyzed the situation in no time and with confidence and skills that overcome the best of knights. He grabbed the cactus from where the other knight is holding it. Grabbing the cactus and running away, the other knight didn't even realize what happened. He can't believe he took the cactus from him. He's searching everywhere for the cactus. He even thought that the cactus can be this rock. What an embarrassing moment for this entire generation. The champion is running everywhere carrying the cactus. Even that it's heavy, he's fighting all of the other knights to keep him. All alone for himself. The law of scorpions, we do not share. Only one gets to celebrate. Such a delicious meal, the champion scorpion is saying to himself. 